if you've been liking any of the content on here, just feel free to subscribe. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. And this is the list that I'm going to be using against the Iron Hands today. It's 2,000 points exactly. I have a group of Wardens, and they're going to be led by a Shield Captain with the Inspirational Exemplar. Four Witch Seekers, four Prosecutors. I have a unit of four Custodian Guard, another unit of five Wardens. They all have Spears of the Vexilla, and they're being led by Trajan Valoris. Two units of two Terminators, and then a unit of three Terminators. Five Custodian Guard, one has the Shield and the Vexilla, and they are being led by a Blade Champion with the Ceaseless Hunter Enhancement. And then finally, I have the Calidus Assassin. Comes to 2,000 points exactly. Let's see how they do against the Iron Hands. Today, I have three Redemptor Dreadnoughts, all with Plasma and Hand Flamers. All have Vicarious Rocket Paws. I have a Ballistic Dreadnought. I have two Invictor Tactical War Suits, Interceptors. Uh, they're proxied as the class of ones. Company of Heroes with my captain, who is also my warlord. I have two Vindicators, two Tech Marines, and a Repulsor Executioner. And 2,000 points right on the butt. Alrighty, so now we're going to see who goes first. Oh, oh your dice hit my dice. Yeah, turned it into a one. Turned it into a one. Oh, Iron Hands go first. Iron Hands go first. Okay, so I'll do my scout moves, and now uh, we'll come back. Okay, so for my scout moves, I just move these ladies up behind this train. It should be hard to get a bead on them with the footprints here, so I should be safe. These ladies scouted onto this objective, and that's the scout moves. What cards does Cody get? Ooh, we got Gage in all fronts and no prisoners. Ooh, fancy. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, we both gain a CP. On to the movement phase. Turn one open moment is going to be on Trajan and the Warden. Cody didn't do too much. His tech marines advanced up. I don't think his redemptors even moved. Just mostly the vindicators moved up and the tech marines. So that is the movement phase. So let's see what happens in the shooting. So turn one, the iron hands, the vindicator did do quite a bit of damage to my wardens. I did lose three wardens, so that kind of is not the best. But what can you do? So you didn't get any no prisoners and you didn't get pretty engaged. So no points for the iron hands. Are you tossing them? Throwing them all away. Toss, toss them both ways. So he'll get his CP, bring them up to two. And we're going to go on to the Custodes turn one. For the Custodes turn one draw, I get engaged in all fronts, same as Cody, and attempting target. What would you like to make tempting? This one right here. Okay, that is the tempting target. Alrighty. And command phase, I'll go up to two CP, and Cody is up to three. I'm going to spend one of my CP, bring me down to one, to res one of them wardens back. On to Custodes turn one, movement.
And for deployment here, I put my shield captain and his wardens behind this wall. The scouts were right there. I did scout them to the head some. I did put four of the custodian guard here, two of the terminators, four prosecutors, and I put Trajan and his wardens right there, so ready to move on to these middle objectives. And then the blade champion and his custodian guard here, ready to pounce on anything that might sit on that objective. And my catalyst assassin is sitting right there in that corner. And for the Iron Hand, so he used his Infiltrator ability on his Invictus, and while also we also went through his list, and it's actually, he doesn't have the Ballistus right now, he was just kind of making it, and forgot to take it out, and blah, 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 so. It's the two Invictus on this objective and that objective, two Redemptors on this side, as well as a Vindicator, his Company of Heroes, and his Captain in here, all right behind the middle objective here, hoping to pounce on that, Repulsor Executioner on this objective, with two of his tech marines side by side here. A Redemptor Dreadnought is sitting over here, ready to shoot down towards my shield captain. His Inceptors are in Deep Strike. And that looks like, where's his other, oh, his other Vindicator tank is sitting there as well. And that is the deployment. On to first turn roll. For the movement phase, make sure, that, yep. Movement phase, I did, I advanced these Wardens and the shield captain up. I couldn't charge anything with them, so I wanted to get them up the table as far as I could. Same thing with these custodian guard. I advance them up. Not on. Uh, hopefully, I shouldn't be able to get all shot up by the vindicator. Not liking the shots from last time. Trajan just went to hide inside the ruins here. Sisters move up a little bit. Shuffle it to go on the objective more. I did advance up to hopefully get charge onto this redemptor. I didn't reroll the advance because I got it before, so that was good enough. I should be able to get a charge with the reroll of the charges. The assassin just shuffled over here a little bit just because, just to save from anything. And that's pretty much my turn. Terminator's still there. Prosecutors are still there. So that's my movement. Custodian Guard just bounced off the Redemptor. I didn't opt to use the shoot again because I did nothing the first time. I'll probably do nothing the second time. So I am going to charge the Redemptor, though. I do have a reroll because it is a Blade Champion. A double. That's a four and a one. And a double six. So that's going to get us in... Handedly. I'll spend a CP to Overwatch with my Hector Tactical Warsuit. Alright. Sounds fantastic. Everything else bounced. He didn't get any hits, but the Flamer got eight hits through, only wounded three times, which we were like, ha 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 ha. But then look what I rolled. Three twos. So, and it's minus one ignore cover. So I meant to put it on my God of Exo. So he's down to one wound. Alright, so I'm going to do the Blade Champion first. Just do him on camera, and then I'll do the hits and the wounds, and then we'll do the saves on camera from the guard. But I'm going to take sustained hits since I do have the reroll wounds. And I'm going to use the Devastating Wound Sword. We're hitting on twos. Sixes are sustained. Yeah! That's uh, one miss. It is strength six. Fives to wound, but sixes are devastating. So I'm hunting for sixes. Yeah. Uh, ooh, that's before Stoom, so use plus one to wound. Yeah. Reroll this, I'm looking for sixes. That's none, so that's just going to be two uh, AP3 damage. Uh, two, since you minus it by one. Sixes? Nope. Maybe hmm? five, season two up save. With the rerolls to wounds and the plus one to wound with the stratagem, I got 15 wounds through. So it's going to be saving all fours. Everyone is just one damage, since you minus it by one. Mr. Mean Man. So three, there's four, there's eight damage goes through. Oh, so he is dead. Does he blow up? In my face. I'll spend a CP to make him blow up. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Is it D, was he D3? D3. Oh, okay. Vengeful. Do not roll a D6 to determine whether the mortal wounds are affected by your model's deadly demise ability. Instead, mortal wounds are automatically inflicted. Blow me up. Two mortal wounds. I do take them, and that would kill my guy with the shield. So with that, that is the end of my turn. I did blow up that Redemptor, but I did lose the Custodian Guard with the Vexilla. And one damage on one of my guard, because he blew up in my face. So I will get five points for Tempting Target for tanking that one. And I am going to discard for engaging all fronts. So it brings me up to one CP going into turn two for the Iron Hands. And the score is five to zero for the Custodies. Iron Hands go up to 2 CP, and the Custodies will go up to 2 CP as well. End of the Iron Hands turn 2 command phase. They do get 5 points for this objective, and 5 points for this one. Bringing the score up to 10 to 5 for the Iron Hands.
for the movement phase, the iron hands, he did wrapped it. He did use his deep strike, deep strike these inceptors down here to shoot at my assassin. He moved up his Vindicator and the, his Teft Marine to get some shots. The Invictus moved up to get some shots onto my sisters. I think that's all of the movement. Cody only got two wounds through on this girl, and I did save one. So I, used, I did pop the minus one damage for free, because the Redemptor shot at these Wardens, did take two wounds off. I only lost one of the Custodian Guard in the shooting phase. I got lucky here. So now he's going to try... Oh, he killed my sisters, barbecued them real good through the Invictus. So now he's going to try a long charge, because I did use my Ceaseless Hunter to move away from him, do six inches, because I knew... Between the Vindicator, all the firepower and the charge, I just didn't have enough CP to fight first and minus one damage. So I did use the six inches to move away, so I can't use Thesis Hunter again for that. Now we get the 12 inch charge. Eat their gun charge and be your chick. Oh. Seven. Okay, you're in. She does fight first, just so you know. Okay. Just so no, no gotchas. Cody popped Armored Contempt, and I'm going to vect it, but make it cost one more CP for the rest of the game, since I do not like Armored Contempt. So I do need to do some work here to survive. So she has five attacks for, with lethals. Yeah, hitting on twos. Uh, two ones, so she's not keen to live. And then she does hit on strength five, but he is tough to six, so I need five. One five, AP four. So that goes right through, but it's uh -huh. only two damage. Armored Contempt. Yeah, so you do get a... a yeah, he used for armor contempt. So just one? Yeah. No. Just two damage, you know, I'm dead, though. He's going to bash my head in back, since I really didn't do much. Top to four, so four is to bash my head in. Three. So three... Three head bashes. Yeah, two. Here! Three ones. <laughs> See you <ya> then. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So that will give him assassination. What was the other one? Give uh, area denial. For my turn to draw, let's pull these cards out here. We have deploy teleport Homer. So <laughs> my sisters might be able to do that. Maybe I I have a plan for that. And then overwhelming force. So kill things on objectives. Ooh. Well, we'll see you there. So I do get. Five points for there, so I do get three objectives, so that does give me 15 points, bring them to 20. So the score is 20 to 18 for the Custodies, going into my movement. I will go up to one CP, and Cody will go up to two. And I'll spend my last CP, the one I gained, to give myself a Custodian Guard back. For my movement phase, I moved the shield captain up here. I did get overwatched by the Invictus, so I did lose that Warden, so that is not the best. But still, I, I get on that objective and I can get a charge off. Move the sisters up so they can do deploy tab of port homers. I thought maybe of charging the Invictus and the company here, so I think I'm going to wait till I can cause them to split up a bit more. The Blade Champion didn't move. I did. Oh, I don't actually need these sisters to do deploy teleport homers. Well, they can do something else. I have an idea for them. Darn. <laughs> <laughs> so those guys are doing deploy teleport homers in the back. That was a mistake by me moving those sisters, but still. And then, so that's my movement. I did actually move, shuffle these guys back. Terminator's in the corner, so if the Inceptors do want to shoot at them, they're going to have to move close to the objective and closer to me charging them. Alrighty, so that is the movement onto the shooting, which is mostly just going to be the Blade Champions unit shooting into the Invictus. So we're just going to come back to the charges and see what happens. For the shooting phase, I bounced and I even used the shoot twice and I didn't get one single wound. All right, so let's do the charging. The Blade Champion into the Vindicare, Vindicator thing. Make it an eight. The Shield Captain into this Invictus. Mix it with a seven. And that is all my charges onto the melee. I'm going to take the lethal hits, uh, kata, and then this round I'm going to double kata for the captain and then take lethal hits and sustained on the warders group. So going into some choppy chops. Gonna use the blade champion and he's using lethal hits. I would like the debbies but the lethal hits would be nice. So he only has five attacks, hitting on twos. That's 
that was three sixes. I did knock that over, so that's and that's a one. Get it. You get to re-roll his wounds. He's still. What's that? Oh, that is a one. Because so a strength six, a dude in size. So that would be four wounds because that was a six at AP three, damage three. I say two. Now we have the custodian guard, so I do need two sixes are lethal. And these are going to be fives, since I didn't use plus one to wound, but I do get to re-roll my wounds. Hey it's just two more. Pick it up. And roll it again. It's not bad. So that is going to be a total of six at AP2 damage two. And if you don't die, then I'll have to miss the core you. I saved three. Uh, how much damage? Six. It's two damage each. You take a total of twelve damage. Come on, and then I'd still get the mess with Cordia swing at you. Doesn't matter. It's a one. That's what you get. Does he explode? Oh, I wish he had blew it up. It did kill the Vindicator tank, so now the Warden's into the Invictus. So I have twenty attacks from the Wardens. We'll do the Captain after. But these are lethal hits and sustained. Yeah. Disgusting. Mm -hmm. We'll give Jeff the baby spoon because he plays custodians. His hands aren't big. We'll hold the camera in both. So we'll... Teamwork. Teamwork. Okay, I need probably fives. Oh, man, these things. That's a lot of sixes. That's a lot of sixes. Drugs. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen. There's ten. 25. How much damage is it? 2. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. You're dead. Oh my. What Does he blow up my face? D3. Oh, and he has Scout 8. I didn't even realize that. Nope. Yes. Having Scouts would be because you can use them to move block, but you may not want to get charged for a turn. But either way, no one's good for next time. My melee was quite successful. I do clear off that objective and this objective, so. Uh, I, with this, I don't have a lot of shooting, so I can't I can't match him for shooting, so I have to deny the primary and just deny as much shooting as I can. If not, he will just shoot me off the board with ease. Turn three cards, he gets extend battle lines. That is a pretty good one. He might he already has that one cap done. And secure no man's secure land. No man's land. That's, those are good cards. Both the moment is the unit right here with the blade champion. And Cody used, what was it called? Ancient Fury. Mm -hmm. And it gave a buff to this Redemptor here, giving him plus one to hit. And a bunch of nice buffs. He moves his Inceptors up, the Invictus over, the Redemptor up. Everyone is going for this group of Blade Champion and the Custodian Guard. So I think they're probably not long for this world. I did spend one CP to Rapid Ingress over here. So now he's got two Terminators in kind of his deployment zone. So hopefully I can weather some firepower onto the shooting phase for the Iron Hands. Redemptor into the Blade Champion. Five shots. Oh. Not much better, so... Oh, I can't do that. Oh, they don't have to hit you. I just re-rolled wounds. No, one wound. From the flamer? From the flamer. Oh, okay. It's just one minus one. Take it. Well, not take it, one save damage. it. D3. One shot. Taking on threes. Uh, failed to wound. Free re-roll. Oh. Huh. One, two damage. I take two damage. All right, I'm gonna supercharge the the macro. Bam, bam, bam. For a good old six shot plus one. Yeah. The are host. Bam, 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 bam. Yep. It's another six so five hits. Mm. Strength nine. Threes. So just two. Two. Four. four ups. Fail on sale. 
save one. So I do lose that guy. He does roll a one in the hazardous, so he does take three mortals, and I do lose a custodian guard with a Neptor shooting. Scepters shooting into me. What do we got here? All kinds of the pupils. Five hits. You overcharging these guys? Uh, sure. Okay. Ooh, thankfully they're twin links. Okay. See, all of them hit. Okay. Fail too. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Ooh. You make it. No one dies. The three has you. Die. The Inceptors shot into the Custodian Guard, killing one of my guys in the Bexilla. Tech oh, Marine next. Bolter. I hit you twice. And we roll Three your, times. No, oh, it's on twos. Twos. Forging. A five. Free repo. Nope, just one. And minus one. Two damage. Take it. So everyone from the air up here shot pretty much into the custodian guard squad. I am down to a blade champion and one single custodian guard. All right. So for recap of the shooting phase, I did pop my four up, feel no pain and the minus one damage with the guardian squad here, with the shield captain. So I only lost uh, one wound. I did lose most of my custodian guard squad here. The two terminators did uh, last pretty good against the repulsor executioner. So he's alive in a wound. Everyone else is still here, and I did lose two sisters, so we're on to the charge phase. Who's going to do some charging, buddy? Gobs is going to charge into there. Yes. Um, this guy's going to charge in there, this guy's going to charge in there. Mm -hmm. So then this one, big one, come on, baby. That makes it a tan. So all the charges made it in, so we're going to go to the combat phase, and we'll be back. Pretty strong turn for Cody. He didn't do anything really to the wardens over here. We just kind of bounced off each other. I did two wardens, two damage to him. But he did manage to clear out most of this objective. I have three wounds left in my blade champion. Blade champion bounced right off the Invictus. And we're going to go into Custodes turn three. Assassination and cleanse. Not the best, but we'll see what we can do. Now, I will spend one CP to get rid of this one to redraw, and I will get extend battle lines. Much better. But I am down to one CP. I didn't want to save one for some tricks, but what can you do? Movement phase. I stayed here. I did pass my battle shock with the Terminators up here. So I did move towards the objective. Same with these three man. I moved out here. I sticky this objective. So I did lose. No, I didn't stick it. So I stayed there. I didn't have to sticky it. Yeah, so I moved against a company of heroes. Fell back the blade champion. And that was pretty much my movement phase. I forgot to golden light some of these Terminators. But we're going to go on to the shooting and see what happens here. Okay, so for my shooting phase, didn't do much. I took off a wounds off the Vindicator. I took a wound or two off the Repulsor, but that was it for my shooting. So we're going to go into my charging. Here comes some charges. We're going to charge Blade Champion into his Tech Marine. Oh. Seven. So he makes it in with a seven of these Custodian Guard into the tank. I want a relatively low charge so I can still stick on this objective. A six. That is pretty good. I actually put that beside them so we remember. Trajan into his captain. A six. Put that beside him too. Now we have this group of Terminators into the Tech Marine. It's a six, so that most likely makes it. That Terminator into this Repulsor. Ha! Huh. Five. That ain't going to make it, so he's going to get lasered up next turn. So he'll stay there and smile at the tank. Let's go into the combat. Right, so the Kata for this turn is sustained, and the double Kata for the Shield Captain will be lethal. So sustained and lethal. The Custodian Guard, they were able to get ten wounds through, only re-rolling once, as I wasn't able to get onto that objective. So it's 10 wounds on to this AP Vindicator. Minus AP minus 2. Ooh, <laughs> Gross. 1, 2, oh. Ooh. 2 damage piece. Yes. Does he blow up? No. No. 
So now it's just the Terminators into the lone Tech Marine. My combat phase, I did kill the Vindicator. I killed the Tech Marine back there. Killed the company of heroes or a companion. Well, they are company heroes with the captain. I did take that. Blade Champion got killed by the... Is that a Tech Marine? Yep. Yeah, bashed his head into the servo arm. And I lost to Warden here, and I did a couple wounds to the Redemptor. So I did score my secondaries. It's going to bring up to 50 points. Going into turn four for the Iron Hand. Ooh, Oath of Moment is Trage against Trage's squad. Turn four, the Tech Marine passed his battle draw. Points are 50 to 43 for the Custodies. Iron Hands, they all moved out towards the Oath of Moment target. Trade's going to have to weather a big storm here. And then we have just... That's it. So that's movement. The Inceptors kind of are going to deploy Teleport Homers. That's the movement. Trade's going to take a big beating. I did want to save this for Fight First. And maybe pop it if he attacked me. And then pop my Moment Shackle to get 12 attacks. But I'm going to take a lot of damage. So I'm going to pop his 4-up. Pop their four up, feel no pain, and you can see minus one damage for this turn. So I'm going to try to weather the storm of shooting. This shooting phase by the Iron Storms for turn four, I did lose a Warden. I did lose two of my Wardens with Trajan up here, and he did kill my Terminator over here. Well, charging, so I'm guessing all these fellows are going to charge into my Tray Tray. Yep. All right, so let's see how the charges go. So, Redemptor. Unless you get some double ones, you're pretty much making it. That's a five. He makes it. it. He probably needs to go. Then Victor, Tactical Warsuit. He that makes, makes it an eight. Alrighty, so charges are in. For the combat phase, the charges made it. I don't want my Trey Trey to die because Cody totally loves killing my Trajan. I'm going to use his Moment Shackle to give him a two up invulnerable save. Did survive. I uh, six damage back to the Invictor. We just kind of bow, hit each other back here. I did do, I think, eight wounds, but this still has seven wounds left. He did run over one of my feet. Oh, I did four damage to the Redemptor. He did two damage because I had to use the minus one to wound with the shield captain. We're going to go on to turn four for the custodies. The score right now is 50 to 48 for the custodies. Turn four custodies draw. We have behind enemy lines. We're already there. And secure no man's land. That one is already done. I will go up to one CP and Cody will go up to... Three, because he threw away his card from last turn. Attempting target. Okay, so the score cause is now 65 to 48, because I get 15 on the primary, going into my movement. Custodes turn four movement. I just moved ahead here. I did get overwatched, but I didn't make all these saves. And that is going to be all my movement. I will shoot these custodies into his tech marine and see if I could kill that. I did manage to kill that tech marine, so it does deny him some points, and I made my charges into the Invictus, and I'm going to use the lethal hits kata, and then the captain over here is going to use the minus one to hit as well, see if he can stay alive. I did pick up the Invictus, and then over here, Cody did pop his remaining two CP to give him to ignore modifiers, and sustained hits on sixes. Ooh, what happens? A six, that's not bad, and then three. Not bad, three. I don't have any CP for rerolls. Yep. So, how much damage is that? Three damage a pop. Three damage a pop. So, that will kill him and kill my other warden. So, it's just the captain left. So, you do get that objective. Turn four custodies. I did lose my wardens here, and we are just fighting each other back and forth. This redemptor is down to three wounds. I killed the Invictus. Uh, somehow, neither Trading nor the Redemptor killed each other. I did kill the tank of the Terminators. Well, I only get three points for behind enemy lines. And I do secure No Man's Land, bring up to 73 to 48. The Iron Hands turn five. They have Fence Stronghold and Overwhelming Force. And they do get five points for the primary over here. So it scores to 53 to 73, going on to turn five. I did smash back pretty hard. I was able to take out the Redemptor with the with Trajan. I did lose my Custodian Guard. Well, the Iron Hands did kill all my Custodian Guard, giving them overwhelming force for three points. 
back and forth here. I am down to one wound, and he is down to one wound. So, what are we going to do over here? I don't know yet for my turn five. And these Inceptors did get this uh, objective. I did pick up my, finally, my Terminators for Golden Light, because I still own three objectives, because I have Sticky, Sticky, and the one back there. So we're going to see what we can do. On to turn five. Turn five for the Custodians, we have Storm Hostile Objective. That works pretty good. And No Prisoners. Two good cards. That was good draws this game. Trajan did kill these fellows over here. So I did get Stormhouse Objective and no prisoners. Score at the very end is going to be 100 to 66 for the Custodies. A good game. I did get 100. I don't have a lot left on the board. This, uh, this mission is kind of hard for the Custodies. There's so many objectives and it's taken hold. So you only really need to get three. So to really deny him primary, I really had to be putting pressure on there putting myself in positions to get shot that I usually wouldn't want to put myself into. So I would like to practice this one a little bit more. And I do believe Dawn of War is one of the deployments as well. It's going to be a little higher against you as well. So that's the end of the game. Thanks for coming, Cody. Thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by.